So what we're going to look at now are some changes they've made to the step over calculation uh, for some of the multi-axis toolpaths. And we're going to try this out with a parallel. Um, so I've got my model on my screen again. I'm not actually going to turn that off for a moment so we can just focus in on these drive surfaces down here. And we're going to go ahead and write a, just a simple parallel and play with some of the options here. So I'm going to jump up to my multi-axis gallery. Don't grab the 3D parallel. <laughs> grab my multi-axis parallel. Uh, I'm just going to use a lollipop on this. It's my only real tool I have for this at the moment. And then I'm going to go down to my cut pattern. And we'll go ahead and we'll just do this on a simple curve. And I'm just going to go ahead and select this curve, 3D mode, wireframe. I'm just going to select that curve right there. And then for the drive surface, just to play with this to start, I'm just going to pick these two surfaces here. All right. Now, uh, other changes I want to make, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a full cut to the edge of those surfaces. Step over, not really concerned about so much. It's at 50. Um, that's fine for what we're doing. Um, I'm not really going to make any other changes. I just kind of want to see what this toolpath looks like. So a curve, uh, two drive surfaces, full and start, 50,000 step over with a parallel, and we'll see what we end up getting. And that's not a bad toolpath. That, that's following that surface reasonably well. But as I look closer, I do notice that as the tool starts to work across that surface, it's really more following the edge of the surface here than adhering you know, to my drive curves or my, uh, my curve selection. Um, and it's washing out, not so much, the step over looks good, but it, it's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna use one of the first options in here, which is the extend edge curve option, which is on the cut parameter page. So I'll go back into my parameters and I'm going to go ahead, I'm sorry, it's on the, um, there we go, parameters for surface edge handling. Uh, they keep moving stuff around sometimes. Uh, and it's this guy right here, extend edge curve. And what that's going to do essentially is extend my drive curve here um, and maintain that angle and that curve across the surface regardless of where that surface edge is going. So we'll regenerate that and we'll kind of see that immediately. That is a much straighter, tighter looking toolpath following this curve and not really uh, arcing or, or, or wandering off because of where the surface edges are going. So real simple adjustment to that. Now, you can get yourself in a little bit of a trouble with this. So I'll show you what happens. We're gonna go ahead and select um, the rest of the drive surfaces. So I'm gonna go back to my cut pattern and I'm just gonna add those additional surfaces in. And then without making any other adjustments, I'll go ahead and regenerate that toolpath. And we, you know, get a bit of a mess. Um, what's happening is the way Mastercam is calculating the step overs as it's rounding those edges. It's doing what's referred to as an approximate step over calculation. So it's actually using the drive surfaces to sort of average out a step over. Uh, as you can see, I've got some significant washout uh, especially there at the end. I mean, that's just terrible. Wouldn't want to do that. Uh, so there's a way to combat this. Uh, and that is, again, in my cut parameters, I'm going to go ahead and change the way Mastercam is calculating my stepovers. I'm going to go to, again, the advanced options for surface quality. And instead of using uh, an approximate stepover calculation, I'm going to go ahead and use an exact method, which uses a, a hard value, stepover value for that. So we'll change it to exact. I'll re regenerate that. And I'm not getting that washout anymore. I'm getting my constant 50,000 step over all the way across those drive surfaces. No more dead spots or blank, blank zones. You know, it, no washout. Much smoother, much nicer.